We interrupt this edition of the Camo Dave Dance Party for some Camo Dave letters. Letters, 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 letters. Hey, uh, it is the uh, 21st of uh, September, YouTube payday. Thank you, YouTube. Uh, there has never been anything wrong with Wonder Hussey's bumper, says Rick G. However, the S, the bumper on her SUV is another story. What, 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 what do you mean by that? Uh, Jason says, Derek, you know, you know, Derek, I think that he's going to be the cool schooly guy. He will get laughed at and mocked at schooly events and the other campers will want him to leave. I don't think so. I think that, you know, the, the schooly people seem to be really cool people and I'm sure they would welcome Derek with open arms into their club. The other thing is, though, I mean, really, I've never seen Derek to be a schooly guy. He seems to be a person who kind of likes the luxurious side of RVing. He likes the comforts that come with RVs. You buy a nice RV, whether it's a Class A or Class C or something, and it's got the slides, and it's got the AC, and it's got, you know, the, the regular flush toilet of some sort. He seems to have the refrigerator, the big screen TV. The, he seems to be somebody who really likes the comforts of an RV and I don't know you go to a bus and you're kind of building it from scratch again it might be good content you know again he's probably like okay now what do I do with my channel you know I don't know man Rick G says Dave continues his coverage of this sad story I guess the, the Gabby thing right while I complain about the media coverage of this sad story and all he's doing is repeating what he's seen and heard on the same media that he's complaining about that we can all see and hear, LOL. You know, that's what everybody does. I mean, you look at anybody, whether they're a television station, a radio station, a news website, whatever, everybody's just taking information, the same information. And, you know, they, they basically gear it for their particular audience. So, uh, again, I think, you know, I, I do think if Fox News is going to put a live stream of the par of Brian's parents' house, and after you know, hours, and keep it up even hours after uh, the police have left, after the search the other day. I think that's a little silly. Chi Chi says a certain YouTuber who will not mention here had to go. Uh, I've had drama with trolls and had to go to the police station. Why aren't you on top of this, Dave? Do I have to crack open my wallet and join his Patreon to get the juicy details? You probably do. Again, you know, we like to have fun here on the Camo Dave channel. We do not endorse trolling of any sort in any way, doxing, none of that stuff. And, you know, I, you know, that's it. What, what else can I say? We block people. I probably have 30, 40, 50 people blocked right now because people are doing nasty stuff like that. Uh, we don't endorse that. We don't encourage it. It's nasty. And please don't go to the uh, Panda property without an invitation and do not dox you know who or, or troll him or any way. Do not do it. However, we do have to say that certain YouTubers are probably are not taking as many precautions as they should be. If they do have that problem in a heavy way, they probably should be doing a little more to keep their you know location secret and not publicize where they are, put big banners on their vehicles and stuff like that. So in a way, you know, some of these nomads are not probably doing as much as they could do to keep some of this stuff at bay because it is going to happen no matter what. That's just part of YouTube. It ain't just part of YouTube. It's part of whole social media. It happens everywhere. Facebook, Twitter, Twitch, everybody. It's all over the place. Nasty stuff. Janina says, I like true crime. Well, she likes to... Well, yeah, it's Again, we don't like true crime, but it is kind of fascinating to see some of the, these stories. What makes Gabby's story so interesting is she could be the girl next door. And now he, the boyfriend, is America's villain, if he's still around, right? I don't know. And it was YouTube that helped bring in evidence to narrow the search for her, which is a good thing. You know, there's good and bad with everything. Social media does some good things sometimes, you know, and helping to solve a crime, a potential crime, whatever this is, you know, YouTubers that particularly um, uh, Red, White and Bethune there happening to see the vehicle in a certain spot led the police to that area where they found Gabby's remains. So, you know, there are, you know, you know, there are bad things that happen in social media, but there's also a lot of good, too. So, you know, they're helping again in one little way. Maybe we're all working together here to help solve this crime and figure out what's going on. And, you know, what the heck? I don't know. RS says, well, Dave, I really find that dishwasher channel exciting. Your brain is wired like a 14 year old who smokes, you know what, all day. Hey, um. I, what's that guy's name? Dude, he's from Chicago, Technology Connections, 
And he does, you know, he fought, he'll, I think he did like fans, did like a big investigation of how fans work. And he does stuff like that, you know, and now he's into dishwashers and he does really heavy duty investigations about how ordinary appliances work. And I find that very oddly compelling technology con connections there. And he has an extras channel, I, you know, Connextras, I think is what he calls it, which is even crazier. Okay, a certain uh, YouTuber has uh, done a verbal attack on Rosie O'Kelly. And I'm slipping up because I'm not reporting it. I really, really do not want to get into reporting uh, those kind of nasty attacks by certain members of the Boyt bottom of YouTube, okay? I'm not going to mention the person's name. I have met with him before. He was very nice to me, but... Uh, there's a very nasty uh, series of uh, videos out there that are all over some troll channels. And it's terrible what you know who is doing to Rosie. Rosie is one of the nicest people out there. She's honest. She's uh, friendly. Her videos are good. You know, she does, I mean, you know, she does a lot of live streaming. And she's such a nice person. And she does get the trolls attacking her. It could be, to some degree, the choice of guys she has come by her place. This particular person that's trashing her right now is another one of the men that she's invited over to her place. So, over, you know, and, and they all seem to kind of, I don't know, man, I, you know, I don't know, man. What do you say? Uh, Fox 13 and the Puget Sound. Yeah, we were talking, TV stations, you know, just call themselves like the network plus their dial number, you know. I mean, there's so many Fox 5s out there. Fox 13, there's a Fox 13 in Salt Lake City. There's a Fox 13 in Tampa. And it is confusing because, you know, with this story just happened, the Gabby story happening happening in both the Tampa area and the Salt Lake City up in the Wyoming area, uh, you know, and everyone will say, hey, check out Fox 13's new uh, update. You don't know which Fox 13 to check out on. Hey, Dave, Adventure Van Man Brian does a good video to introduce us to his lady, Kelly. And a very nice DIY van. I did write, I did talk about that this morning. And it is a very nice van. Uh, Kelly, I think her name is. She did a very nice... <laughs> a very nice build there. Carla Van. C-A-R-L-A-V-A-N-N. Says, you might want to look at my channel. I'm a pensioner renovating an old Dodge B250 camper van. Thanks. All right, that's car, C-A-R-L-A-V-A-N-N. Uh, a lot of people are trying to guess where Brian could be. Is he still in that park, the Carlton Reserve, that which is connected to a huge, uh, you know, Everglades, you know, alligator-infested swamp there. He could be in there somewhere. It's huge. Uh, my guess is he's probably long gone from Florida, okay? He could have gotten on some sort of shady boat and headed any, somewhere down the Caribbean or over to Mexico, uh, he could have uh, managed to get another vehicle and travel. You know, there were a couple days early last week before this story actually really blew up into the media. There were a couple days there where he could have probably traveled pretty much unnoticed. Maybe, you know, who knows? Literally, he could be anywhere right now, at least in the U.S. Uh, he well, probably wouldn't be able to cross any border crossings with, you know, if they check on you and the TSA stuff on airplanes. But, you know, there's a lot of ways to get across borders. Yeah, uh, One of the things we got to look at are those Haitian migrants that have come from Haiti. I mean, they got a boat across to Mexico and now they're in southern Texas trying to get across the border. If, if it's easy for them to get across all the way from Haiti to Mexico, I mean, it can't be that hard for someone to go from Mexico over to uh, Florida to Mexico, you know? Billy, uh, Billy is complaining about a certain nomad. There are several nomads that actually uh, post videos quite a bit after they're shot, okay? And, you know, we, we're, we're seeing this on a number of cases. A certain nomad, you know, Aja, let's talk about Aja. There's an, oh, Aja Pandemonium is, is posting videos from, 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 <laughs> from the Svengoli Convention, you know, from Sturgis, from Sturgis, which was a month ago, you know, but they're just popping up now. And this other certain nomad has been, his videos are at least a week old, if not more. Uh, some people put their more current stuff up on Patreon, and that's a way they get people to sign up to the Patreon uh, and, and that's, well, you know, if they want to do that, that's up to them. You want to get the news right away, you, you got to cough up the bucks on Patreon. So 
what do you do? What do you, there's nothing you can do about it. If you don't like it, unsub and move on to someone who posts more currently. Uh, Regina says, Unstoppable Morgan hasn't done a video in a month, but soon she'll, she will because she'll need some money, I guess on Super Chat, unless she found a sugar daddy. Well, maybe she's already done that. I don't know. You know, I, my impression with Morgan is she just got tired of YouTube. Now, we see people that get tired of YouTube and go away from YouTube for a while, but a lot of them do come back. Some of them don't. Um, I wouldn't be at all surprised if one day she starts popping up and posting again. A lot of times we see nomads, they'll get into periods where they'll post a lot and then they just go off for a while and then don't post anything. So I don't know. Uh, yeah. Hey, we got a message here from Marie, RV Camper, who I met here in Morganton a couple uh, weeks ago, months ago. Was that? I don't know. RV Camper says, I, I registered in South Dakota because the license plates and the insurance are less expensive. There's no state tax, and I do have to, not have to claim my pension, okay, as income. Right. Yeah, there's a good there. Again, a lot of nomads do go to South Dakota because there are certain advantages of uh, becoming a resident there. In terms of, uh, you know, you need having a residency where your insurance and all that other stuff is based. And uh, and plus, you can do a lot of it online and in the mail. And finally, we hear from Sue Kelly. As a school bus owner for 30 years, her second vehicle in 30 years, by the way, second bus, I highly suggest that Derek, you know, Derek, not get a schoolie. He does not need bus problems. They only get seven to eight miles a gallon. If you're lucky, they only have a top speed of 50 down and that's downhill. And each tire uh, are about a thousand bucks a piece. And, and the insurance is very expensive and the maintenance. You have to really take care of it, which means you have to know what you're doing mechanical wise and the cost of supply right now. Yeah. Yeah. They, yeah. Anyway. A bus is not a house or an RV, I don't know. It is a whole different experience. And again, you know, again, you're kind of ruling yourself out of doing campgrounds like, you know, Thousand Trails and stuff because they want nice looking RVs and they don't want old beat up looking buses. So that you're, you're you know, and plus you can't, you know, you have to, you know, tow something because they're so big, especially the full size school buses. You know, if you want to just drive to the Walmart, you know, you want to be taking this big old schoolie with you. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. There's certain advantages to it. I think what Dan is doing in um, beautiful Panda Land, pa oh, the Panda property there, don't want to get sued. The Panda property there is uh, probably a good idea. Then he's probably going to take that bus and get it down to Quartzsite and just live in it. I can't see him traveling all over the place in that bus, right? Anyway, so I'm going to go put this on the radio. I'm going to put this on the record player today and have a nice afternoon and listen to this. A dramatic, oh dear. I, I know there's so many cool albums here. Look at this stuff. Or, or I could do this. I could meet her tonight in Dreamland. <laughs> Man, look at. I mean, there's just so. I mean, you could. I could just spend all day here going through some of these cool old records. Tennessee Ernie Ford. Remember, he was on I Love Lucy. Remember that one? I'm mean, Anthony William. I'm Anthony Williams. Yeah, Andy Williams. Call me irresponsible. Mm -hmm. Man, oh man, sing along with Connie Francis, 22 cents, 20, this actually sold for 22 cents somewhere, why not 25, I don't know, music for a king, uh, for Elvis, right, he's the king, pay, pay your taxes to the king, right, I don't know, man, all right, folks, thanks for watching, letters and, letters, letters, letters for the, uh, for the uh, 21st of September 21. We are in the back room here of, um, the back room here of uh, Green Eggs and Jam and here in Morganton. And if you see anything on the walls here, if you see anything you like, some of those heads up there perhaps, some of these videotapes, anything you like, give Stacy a call. I'll put the number in the description below and uh, you know, or just give him a call and say, hey, I'm looking for you know, I'm looking for a, an Alba album or something, you know, I mean, really, just to let him know what you're looking for, and he will tell you whether he's got it, because he's got a lot of stuff, some of these cool books over here, this is my attitude adjuster, <laughs> oh dear, oh my, anyway, uh, whatever, a lot, of, a lot of crazy, oh, there we go, there's some divine, look at that, that was